All right, hey everybody. I was just uh, gonna get a quick update on the Ram. Uh, I don't know how many times I've had tire guys tell me you will not put 35s on a Ram. You have to have at least a four inch lift. All right, here's what I got. I went with a Supreme suspension. I think it's a three inch front and two inch rear um, which is basically the the block that just goes to the top of the strut there but let me show you that is a 35 11 50 20 now everybody told me these would rub Everybody, every everybody I talked to at tire shops said they were going to rub, you know, especially with factory wheels. Well, here's the thing, all right? The factory wheels are why they don't rub. And I went with 1150s. You know, they're an inch wider than your factory tire. So, look at that. That's full lock to the left. Plenty of room. All right. No rub on control arm, nothing. All right. Let's go to the rear. <clears throat> Let me show you here. It's a block. It goes right at the bottom of the spring there. That's the two inch. All right. So, when they tell you you can't fit 35s, I'd have to call them out because there's your proof. There's 35s with a 3-inch lift in the front. Plenty of room. Guys, I'm thinking you could probably get away with these tires on hell a, a stock ram i mean seriously three inches isn't that much and there's plenty of room i mean if i figure you stick with the factory wheels and uh you know an 1150 tire i really don't see what the problem is you know i went with the nitto exo grapplers good tires they do make a little bit of noise but I like them. I like them a lot. And the lift. The only thing I didn't like about the lift. I don't know why this camera so zoomed in like that. But the one thing with the lift I did not like. Um. I guess the angle that puts the control arm in the front, it makes it ride a lot stiffer. Um, that's the only thing I didn't like. And I mean, it actually made it quite a bit stiffer. I mean, you wouldn't think, you know, a little block would make it ride that much different. But the only thing I think of is the angle at which it's at. You know, it don't ha quite have the leverage it did. But yeah, that's my Ram. I like it. It's 2014 Ram 1500, Big Horn Edition, four wheel drive. Let me show you this side too while I full lock to the left. Plenty of room. Body. Plenty of room. You know, obviously if you're running an offset wheel, aftermarket wheel, where well, you're gonna stick your wheels out a little bit. <clears throat> this space here will definitely move out this way more. And you would rub. So the key, guys, factory wheels or factory offset. I mean, that's, that's gonna be about the only way you're gonna do it, in my opinion. You know, I might be wrong, there might be guys with you know, other ways they've 
conquered the problem, but, but yeah, I like it. Also got the uh, drilled sludgy rotors on there. I don't know if you guys see that. Those made a huge difference. I do a lot of towing, and those brakes are worth their weight in gold, I'm telling you. <coughs> Front and rear. <coughs> Sorry, guys, kind of fighting a cold here. But. I don't know, y'all might have noticed the bumper there. That's the reason I lifted this thing and went with the bigger tires. Um, I was cutting through my my field over here and I got a I got a ditch that goes right down through the middle of there and I was crawling through it and my bumper bottomed out and I didn't realize it and I gunned it and obviously it completely pushed the bumper up. Put a nice little dent there in the bottom. But yeah, it just rolled the bumper up a little bit and misaligned it there. The bumper's actually up underneath the the cover there, but but yeah. Sorry the it's so zoomed in my my camera's a little it doesn't look like it but right now I'm probably about fifteen feet from the truck just to get it all in, in frame so Anyway, guys, I hope you liked my opinions here, but if you're going to do 35s without having to go with a big old lift, stock wheels, you know, and 35, 1150 tires, guys, I believe that's the key. Anyway, you guys have a good night. It's starting to get dark out here. I'm going to go in, eat some dinner, hug the kiddo. See you guys next time.